How's it going guys? And in this video, we're gonna be walking through how this seven segment display is being controlled by this Arduino that I've written right here. And we're gonna be walking through the code and also talking a little bit about how all this wiring works. So basically, the only thing we need on this guy is on our seven segment display because it is a common cathode, is a connection to ground. And so basically the common wire, which is that middle wire right here, is going right to that ground pin on our Arduino. And then from there, what we're doing is we've got a bunch of 220 ohm resistors, seven of them, and each one of them leads to a dedicated pin on our Arduino right there. So in my case, I have pins four through 10 allocated to the segments A through G. And the reason why we call these things segments is because it is a lot easier than just remembering a bunch of numbers because it'll get pretty tricky when you're trying to map a number to a number and you know the math just won't make any sense. Uh, so basically here is the code right here and one thing I want to show you guys is uh, all this stuff is on GitHub so you guys can look through all the code and I've written a little readme. Um, but another thing is that uh, this is telling you how all these segments are mapping to the Arduino. So segment A is that top one right there. And segment B, as you can see, is the one uh, in the top part right there. So basically each one of these numbers is just mapping to a different set of segments. So the one digit is consisting of the B segment and the C segment. So that guy and that guy right there. So literally all I do when uh, I want to display the one digit is I declare or I define an array and I call it one dig and it's two elements big, it's two integers big consisting of the B and C pins or whatever pin is corresponding to that segment. So in my case, I said that pin five corresponded to B and pin six corresponded to the C segment. So that's how I've wired this guy up. And so basically what it's doing is it just takes these uh, two elements, which are really uh, integers, pins four and five, or pins four and five, so just remember that. And when I want to actually display it, I call this display dig uh, function that I've also written in C++. And so this display dig uh, function right here takes in the array and the array length, and it will first turn off all segments in case there was any segments lit up from the previous number that was just displaying. And then from there, it will do a digital write to whatever is in that array and set it to high. So basically, in our case, it's gonna be setting pins four and pins five to high, and it's gonna be turning off all the other pins uh, before it does that so that we actually get the true number to show up. And um, another thing I wanna make note of just from programming styles is that a super important part of how you code is writing good methods. And in our case, you know, ideally you would have methods that are fully encapsulated, which means that you don't need to pass in functions or uh, parameters when you don't need to. So like I have a function to turn off all segments. And in my case, I, because these are all within the scope of this uh, particular, particular file, um, I'm creating the array inside of here. I'm not passing in the array because that's not needed. Um, and so this is a very simple function to call from anywhere and I call it frequently. I also have a turn on all segments uh, function right here and again pretty implicit what it does by the name um, but it literally just turns on all the segments when it goes through and does the blinking to show that all the segments are working in case you're trying to troubleshoot this or wonder if you got like a burned out bulb or something like that. Um, so that is how this code is working and in our case uh, all this stuff's going to be public to you guys. Uh, definitely did take me a while to figure out uh, this stuff because C++ is a lot different from Python. Um, but now we've got something that works and, um, you know, we can change stuff around. We can change the orders if we wanted to. I'm going to be writing a switch statement to basically take in an integer and then display that integer on this display because I want to hook this up to a proximity sensor that I'm working on so that our proximity sensor will be able to tell you right here exactly what distance it is uh, from a given object, which is gonna be the next thing I do with this stuff. But as you guys can see, 
pretty simple setup just be really careful that you don't let any of those wires touch each other because if they do obviously you're going to start getting extra leds that light up so um, that's the only challenge with this stuff and clearly this is a little prototype but um, you can see the seven segment display working and going through the testing to show that all those segments are lighting up and turning off as we expect them to so the code is good and all this stuff is on github and so i hope this stuff is helpful thank you all for watching let me know if you have any questions and i will talk to you guys next time